Welcome to the final part. This is part six of the Twitch setup tutorial. We're going to unpack the, the Twitch streaming house and show you how it works. To start with here, I'm going to change the default channel name back to my own so we can do some testing. Probable Prime. You'll see connected successfully. And now we're going to need to pull out the inspector. This is also a meta tutorial on sort of how to investigate or poke around in a world um, that someone else has built. So if we go to the root of the Twitch chat, you'll see it's a bit different than the one that I spawned in the first video. And that there's this sub object called streamer control or stream control. And you'll see it's actually over here in this room. That's a bit interesting. And then under here, you'll see a Twitch command sender, which is also in this room. So that contains a bunch of logics nodes. Let's unpack that. Here you go. Here you'll see that we've got a standard setup, which has a lot more features. So here we take the Twitch chat message and we first of all check, uh, we trim it for spaces, trim string removes all spaces from the, sorry, just from the start and end. So it removes from the start and end of the message spaces. That's a good thing to get in the habit of doing. Um, and then it checks if it starts with exclamation mark. If it doesn't, we stop immediately. Then we go over to this next node and it checks here if they are a moderator or a uh, broadcaster or if the uh, cheer amount is greater than 100, greater than or equal to 100. If that's the case, this goes through and it sends what's called a Twitch priority command. If it's not, then it checks if they're a subscriber and if they're a subscriber, it sends a Twitch sub command. And if they are not a subscriber, it sends a regular Twitch command. This setup's taken a different approach to mine, whereby it sends um, Twitch, uh, Twitch command or Twitch sub command or Twitch priority command to the entire world with the value for the impulse trigger with value being the entire uh, string. It does that because each command is slightly different in this world. There's the light one, which needs a um, on off or a hex code value. There's the sky one, which needs the sky value. There's the flip gravity one, which needs flip space gravity. So there's a little bit different handling here. So all this does here is it takes the, um, this takes the uh, exclamation mark off. So if I pull this across, and I put in exclamation mark lights on. And I pull this, you'll see it's just taken the exclamation mark off. Let's hook that back up. This is the core of the whole house. Every single Twitch command um, gets triggered from here. And this is the only the part of logics in the house that has a uh, Twitch command, uh, Twitch like logics within it. Let's go find one of the Twitch commands within the house here. So this is Twitch command. So we're going to be looking out for anything that receives a value of Twitch command. I'm going to fly back downstairs and we're going to take a look at the Neos logo there. Because this Neos logo is the one that does the wow command. Let me do that in chat right now. So I know it's somewhere here that it might be happening. I think I left my inspector tool upstairs. Let's uh, fine, we'll grab another one. Let's inspect this and see if it's uh, part of the cylinder. Sure is. Under the wow here, you'll see there's a Twitch command receiver object. Let's unpack that and see what's going on. It's uh, sideways, that's great. This sometimes happens. If this happens, you can rotate the object and you can, let's go ahead and take it outside actually. That might work a bit better. Okay, 
Uh, it's upside down now. Let's spin it over. And there we go. That sometimes happens when you have to unpack uh, someone else's ob uh, object. So here you'll see we're looking for Twitch sub command, Twitch command, Twitch priority command. And then all of these look to see if it starts with wow. So if the string starts with wow. And then there is, uh, yeah, this is all starts with wow, starts with wow, starts with wow. It then uses a impulse timeout Impulse timeout controls uh, how often a command can be done. This node was added especially for Twitch setups, but it's also very useful outside of them. A Twitch uh, impulse timeout command uh, node basically means that this impulse here can only fire once every 10 seconds. The reason why this is hooked up is so that different types of users within, a, uh, within the house get different cooldowns. So if you're a subscriber, you get a 10 second cooldown. If you're a normal user, you get a 30 second cooldown. And if you're a priority user, you get a zero second cooldown, which means you can always do it. From there, we then take, uh, I'm actually entirely sure what that does. Looks like it takes the rest of the string. Oh, I see what it's doing here. This is again, a modular setup. So it takes the rest of the string. Uh, no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, sorry. Um, it cuts off the command from the start of the string here. So here it's cutting off wow. So if I take uh, the input here, And I put in wow and then space a lot of stuff. You'll see here that we get just the part after wow. So this is where it's doing the argument separation. I do mine at the source and it's doing it in each command here. Either way is fine. It just depends on your setup. Let's plug that back in. Uh, what was plugged into there? Uh, it's got to be this two lower here. It then writes that value to this string here. This means your arguments will always be available here. So this um, setup is in each of the Twitch commands and it controls uh, passing the arguments around. Then let's go down to here and you'll see here what it does is it will play the sound. This is the wow sound effect. And then it turns on a Boolean latch. Um, the Boolean latch uh, stores a true-false true value, um, uh, like a light switch. Uh, check my gesture wheel with standard control, no, standard simple gesture video. I'll link it in the description for more explanation on a, a Boolean latch. It turns on the Boolean latch and then triggers a delay node, which means the Boolean latch gets turned off after 0.5 seconds. Boolean latch then is wired up to the particle system here. So an example of, of modularity, if I pull out this, I can trigger wow without worrying about Twitch because everything Twitch related comes down this line. And so I can just bypass it and test it here. That's just one command. Let's uh, find another one. Let's do the popcorn machine. So if we poke open the popcorn machine, you'll see again, Twitch command receiver. Let's pull that open. Uh, where's the receiver? Looks like the receiver's here. Yep, here's the receiver again. So again, here you can see Twitch sub command, Twitch command, Twitch priority command, exactly the same. The string here and then all it does is it will turn on or off this boolean latch and the boolean latch is over here for some reason oh it's a sphere emitter the popcorn machine was built in that room and again here you'll see an example of the modularity with this pulse node here being left over if i pulse this the popcorn machine will turn on and if i pulse it again it will turn off 
That's two commands within the house. Why don't you take a look around the house and see what else you can find? If you're looking to make a Twitch setup in your own world, you could lift this logics chain in its entirety into another world and set it up so that everything responded here. Additionally, if you took the setup in the room over here to another world, it would then trigger these. So try packing this bit into a portable object and taking it to another world and try packing these bits into this object. It's already packed into this object. So try packing that controller into an object and taking it to another world and then taking this ring to another world and you should have the wow command working there. That's it for the overview of the Twitch streaming house. There's a bunch of other commands like the lights, like the flipping gravity. You'd need to poke around in the inspector and find them. Don't be afraid to, to keep poking around. Um, this house is super cool. There's lots of commands in it. And that kind of concludes our uh, Twitch command series. If you'd like specific tutorials on how to do certain types of things with commands, let me know. Um, the good example over here, out here with the, the particle system uh, is a common pattern I see where you turn particles on for a short period and then you turn them off again. You'll see that in other setups um, around the around Neos. You'll see it in uh, guns, um, explosions, grenades, and things like that. They all follow the same principle. When the grenade explodes, turn on the particles, then turn them off. So a lot of the stuff beyond just receiving the commands starts going into other Neos lands. Um, so uh, a bunch of users, Paro, Shifty, and Resilio, they've been working on avatars which you can feed. What about making a command that makes your uh, belly inflate? Like just pop open the logics for the stuff that makes your belly inflate and wire in one of these and you'll have a command that makes you fat or small in the, in the chat. The command there should be maybe that and then you'd, you'd be done. Try everything out. Let me know if you've got any more questions or you want anything else covered. Um, that should do us for Twitch commands. Uh, I will see you on the next one. Um, this has been a long recording session, so I think this is a, probably the longest series I've done as well. This is like part six. Um, there may be a part seven or a part eight, at which point I'll just uh, add it to the list. Uh, see you later.